Well, hi guys, it's Alyssa. I am here with another reading for you today. I hope you've all been doing well. It's been a minute since I uploaded and I'm sorry about my absence. I keep saying, you know, I'm, I want to get back onto my regular weekly upload schedule and I'm trying, I am trying, but things, stuff just keeps happening in my life and it's not bad stuff. It's all pretty good stuff. Um, so, you know, don't, don't worry about me, um, it's just a lot, <laughs> uh, but anyway, I hope you've all been well. Um, today we are talking about what your person would like for you to know. So basically messages from your person of interest, this could be for a no contact situation or not, it doesn't really matter, uh, because we're going to be looking into the things that they are maybe too afraid to tell you, um, uncomfortable expressing out loud, um, even the things, the thoughts, the feelings that they might not even be consciously aware of. Um, so hopefully going pretty deep here. Okay, so we have three decks to choose from today. Deck number one is the Night Sun Tarot. And with that, I have this little piece of rose quartz. Deck number two is the Santa Muerte Tarot with opalite. And deck number three is the Light Seers Tarot. And for that, I just have clear quartz here. So I will give you guys a moment to make your choices and then we will get into it. Okay, so let's just get started with group number one. Group one, let's find out what your person wants you to know. That is too many cards. Okay, what does group one's person want them to know? What is group one's person thinking and feeling at the deepest level? Okay, we have the Knight of Cups reversed here. We have the Tower reversed. We've got the Emperor reversed, the Nine of Cups, Ten of Pentacles and, oops, Six of Pentacles. It was, let's see, is this supposed to be reversed or not? It was reversed when I flipped it over, but then it like, well, you, you guys saw it. You saw it, didn't you? <laughs> um, I'm going to let it be, I'm, I'm going to leave it upright. Um, okay. And on the bottom of the deck, we have the Devil card. So, um, group one, what does your person want you to know? The very first thing that I get here is that person that we are talking about here uh, seems to be, let's see, how do I want to say this? Um, I want to say that this person feels like a very deeply wounded individual. Um, we've got three reversals and three upright cards here. Um, and I'm kind of... 
I'm feeling like I'm hearing my okay, let me tell you what I'm what I'm hearing right now. I'm hearing my life was completely upside down before I met you and you made everything right. You made everything kind of fall into place. Um, or that's how it feels to me. Okay. This person that we're talking about, I feel, I mean, we have the devil card here on the bottom of the deck. The devil is, um, this card can represent any kind of toxic, unhealthy, dysfunctional situation that a person might find themselves in. So addiction, mental health problems, uh, toxic relationships, abusive, you know, s situations, anything like that. Any kind of circumstances where a person just feels very trapped, very isolated, um, not in control. And I feel like this is, um, I feel like this is kind of indicative of this individual's uh, past. So you may or may not be able to, um, you may or may not know much about this person's past, but I feel for most of you, this is someone who has been through a lot of difficult stuff in their life. And this is someone who uh, I feel had kind of resigned themselves to the fact that they would never truly be happy. Okay, that's interesting. That's kind of intense. Um, we have the Knight of Cups reversed here. The Knight of Cups, generally speaking, is a pretty good card. Um, this is usually representative of like messages or offers of love being made. Um, all of the Knights represent, you know, some kind of action. And Cups, generally speaking, relate very much to love, emotions, uh, relationships. This card in the reverse. A lot of times I see it as emotions that are out of control, emotions that are very unstable. Um, this would represent like somebody who somebody who feels things very strongly and doesn't really know what to do with those feelings, if that makes sense. Um, okay, that's interesting. Uh, the tower reversed. Tower in general is usually uh, some kind of very significant change, some kind of crisis, upheaval. You're, you know, everything kind of crumbling down around you. Uh, this is typically an event that forces you to pick up the pieces and rebuild. Now, when it's reversed, um, it usually still represents some kind of very significant change, but it's less, it, it's a bit less intense in the reverse position. A lot of times I see it as a very significant change, something big happening, but something that's not necessarily negative. You know, generally the tower has some pretty negative connotations. I mean, just look at this look at this image on this card and that kind of tells you everything you need to know about it. Um, but when it's reversed, it's, it's a bit less serious. Well, maybe not, maybe not less serious, but it's, it's, it's less negative to me. Um, and what I'm getting here is, yeah, meeting, okay, okay. I feel that for this person we're talking about, this tower reversed moment for them was finding you. Um, I'm being told that for a lot of you, the person you're asking about um, actually dreamed about you or, or saw you in, in, in a dream that they had before you actually met. And 
for some of you, this person maybe has told you this. Others, they haven't, obviously. Um, and that's because they feel a little bit weird about it. They feel... I feel like for the most part, this is not a super spiritual or religious person that we're talking about uh, for most of you. And so the fact that they saw you in a dream or they feel they think that they saw you in a dream before you actually met it makes them feel a little bit crazy. It makes them feel like maybe they're a little bit unhinged or something. Um, they're just kind of self-conscious about that. Um, I feel like for most of you, this is really an intuitive person or they have the potential to be, but they're not really tuned into their abilities. Um, Okay, let's see, what else? Before you came into this person's life, everything felt out of control. It's, it's like you've brought some order to their life. And you might be wondering, how have I done that exactly? I'm getting, okay, I'm, I'm getting that this person really looks up to you. And for some of you that might come as kind of a surprise, but this person is saying that they really look up to you, they admire you a lot, they find you to be a very wise individual, and they feel like you always have good advice, you always know, you always know the right thing to do. Um, it's like this person kind of wants to be like you in in some respects. Um, the Emperor in the reverse here. This card usually represents authority, discipline, control. Um, in the reverse, it takes on essentially an opposite meaning. It is a lack of control, a lack of discipline. It can be... Honestly, it's it's kind of similar to the Knight of Cups here. I just see a lot of, well, and and even the Devil card is talking about talks about control as well. I'm seeing a lot of, or I guess I should say I'm feeling a a lack of control. Like everything is out of my hands. Like I have no say in what is going on and I kind of feel like that I feel like that was your person's experience that has been your person's experience before now and something about you something about you makes them feel like some order has been restored it, to their life. Which is really interesting. Maybe you guys, maybe maybe some of you are have, you know, tried to help this person, like, actually get their life together. Um, for others of you, I'm just getting, like, calm. Like, you just make this person feel calm and at peace and, like, everything... Everything's okay. Everything's going to work out. Um, and they want you to know that they're very, very grateful for that. They want to thank you for that. Um, the fact that you just... You've kind of given them a new perspective on their life. Like I mentioned, I, I said this a few minutes ago, but it's like your person had just accepted that things were the way that they were and they felt as though they were always going to be that way. Things were, they, they were never going to be, you know, completely content. They were never going to be completely, uh, or, or I guess I should say they were never going to feel completely in control of their themselves, their circumstances. But you've brought some stability into their life and you've made them see, you've made them realize that they have more power, they have more authority than they thought. I feel like this person, for most of you, 
comes from an environment where they had no control over anything. And they felt quite helpless quite often. And so they, they, they were kind of, to some extent, still stuck in that helpless state of mind. I don't know if this makes any sense, <laughs> but this is, um, this is some deep, kind of deep stuff that I'm, that I'm getting here. Uh, but, but you've, you've made them realize that they are not helpless. They are powerful. They are strong. Much, much stronger than they thought that they were. And that they can do, they have the ability, they have the power to do whatever they, basically whatever they want to set their mind to. It's just something, okay, you, okay, <laughs> you make them feel very empowered. Um, and like I said, they're very grateful for that. Okay, that is, um, that's the first part of this message. I'm getting two here. Um, the second part, the second thing that they want you to know is a bit different. Um, we've got here the Nine of Cups, the Ten of Pentacles, and the Six of Pentacles. It's interesting because Pentacles are earth energy, which is very solid, very grounded and stable. Um, so again, there's there's kind of that energy of like bringing in stability for this person. Um, they definitely, you, you definitely make them feel very grounded and I want to say capable, but we've already, we've already touched on that. Um, These cards here, the Nine of Cups and the Ten of Pentacles in particular, um, these cards make me think of family. These cards make me think of children, happy home life, domestic stuff. Um, in the in the image on this card, we have like a little little tiny baby in the center of these cups. Um, Nine of Cups generally is a card about wish fulfillment, it's about contentment, satisfaction, being very happy with your circumstances, um, what you have, the Ten of Pentacles, this is, to some extent, this is also about wish fulfillment, because the Tens are about completion, they're about achievement, accomplishment of something. Um, and the Ten of Pentacles also, it talks to me about like I said, a, a solid, stable home life, living situation, family. Because pentacles are physical. Pentacles represent the physical, tangible, material things in life. And so I'm getting here that <laughs> this, this person, um, you make them feel very emotionally satisfied, emotionally cared for but also physically uh, content, if that makes sense. Like, this is kind of going back to what I was saying about you giving them the feeling of stability, of, you know, some order in their life. Um, I also get the sense that you... They feel like they have a, a clearer idea of where they're going because of you. So I don't know if you've talked to this person about, you know, the future, um, if you've made plans together at any point in time, but it's like they, they feel like they have a clear direction that they can go in now, where, that they, that they didn't have before. And I know this is all very, um, this is all very focused on like what what they feel that you've done for them, which is kind of interesting. But the main thing here is just that gratitude, and that's a really big thing for this person. But 
I feel that in the 3D, they don't really know how to express it to you. They might not be the most um, emotionally intelligent person. And when I say emotionally intelligent, I mean like just not being the best at expressing their feelings or even being all that in tune with their emotions, if you know what I mean. Um, I want to pull out, I want to pull out like maybe one or two oracle cards here. We have separation and we have chemistry. Being away from you hurts. Being separated from you really hurts this person. And this could be, I mean, this could apply to pretty much any kind of scenario. Um, whether you are actually separated, like not in communication, or if you are in contact, but you're, you know, you live at a distance from each other. Um, <clears throat> I feel for most of you that it's, it's probably one of those two situations for most. But um, whatever the case, it's, it's like being apart from you is painful to them. And every, every, every minute that they're away from you is like agonizing it's agonizing every minute it feels like an hour interesting okay the chemistry card here um <laughs> you are so much more beautiful than you realize they want you to know that even if they've never really expressed to you what they think, you know, out loud, I'm, I'm getting this very clear message of you're beautiful, you're attractive, you're the most gorgeous creature on this earth. And you need to know that, and you need to internalize that and never forget it. Um, this Six of Pentacles here, this card is about balance. Again, stability, um, consistency. It's also about generosity. They feel, sometimes they feel as though they are undeserving of what you have given them. Um, And I think that goes back to this person's past, you know, self-worth, self-esteem issues. Um, but sometimes they feel really unworthy of what you've given them. But what you have done for this person, it makes them feel like maybe they're worth more than they realized. Maybe they have more to offer the world than they thought they did. I'm hearing, you make me feel like a human being. You make me feel like a person. You are a light in the dark. You've opened my eyes to so many more, so many possibilities that I never thought I could ever have for myself. Hmm. There is love here. 
this person does have love for you some of you it's um it's buried deeper than others but this person definitely has a lot of love for you and a lot of appreciation and a lot of gratitude i know i've said that a couple times now but that's just the the, the thing the feeling that keeps coming back up And whatever the case, whatever's going on between the two of you now, whatever the status of your relationship is, if you have one anymore, or, or at this point in time, this is... This is still, this can still be applicable, okay? So even if you haven't spoken to this person in a while, um, this this can still count they're telling me that um hmm. let's see what else i look forward to having a future i look forward to having a future with you um okay This person, for the majority of you, I feel this person does, again, whatever whatever is going on between you now, I feel like this person does want for you to be a part of their life moving forward um, at some point, at least. And Yeah, they want you to be a part of their future. They want to have an opportunity to make things right. Because you've done a lot for them, things that you don't even know you've done, and they want to be able to give back to you. And they're not quite sure how they're going to do that yet, but they're going to figure it out. Hmm. I am, I think I'm going to leave it there, group one. Um, those are messages from your person. <laughs> I, uh, I hope that this resonated with you. If not, then maybe try a different group. Um, this is just a general reading, so take what applies to you and your situation and leave the rest behind. Um, if something doesn't fit, don't try to make it fit. Um, yeah. Thanks for joining me today. I really appreciate it. And I hope that I see you next time. Bye. Okay, so group number two. What would your person like for you to know? What messages does your person's higher self want to relay to you today? Okay, we have the Page of Cups. Two of Pentacles, whoa, Ace of Wands, Ace of Swords reversed, Seven of Swords reversed, and the Fool reversed. And on the bottom of the deck, we have the Tower card. I have marker on me. Um, I was coloring earlier, sorry. So, okay, the Tower kind of interesting here because the tower card usually represents some kind of very substantial very significant change um it's you know it's usually some kind of event that really shakes you to your core and tears down all of your walls all of your expectations forces you to pick up the pieces and rebuild um so for that to come up on the bottom of the deck that's kind of interesting because usually for me the card on the bottom of the deck is kind of like a overall energy for the reading um so that makes me think that uh that makes me think that you hmm all right hang on let me let me tune in here 
if there's any like long pauses in this reading, that's just because I'm trying to like listen and make sense of what what's being said to me. Meeting you was a big deal. Meeting you was a big deal. Um, you don't even know how big of a deal it was for this person um, because they probably haven't ever really expressed it to you out loud. I get the impression, based on these cards, based on what I'm feeling as well, that you and this person probably don't have a ton of history. This feels like a relatively new connection to me. Um, that doesn't have to be the case, but that's what it feels like. And I say that because we have the Page of Cups here. Pages are the first of the court cards. They um, they kind of relate to new beginnings. They, they have a very fresh, new kind of energy about them. We've got two aces here, which aces also new beginnings. Um, the full <laughs> new beginnings, the uh, start of a brand new adventure. Um, and the Two of Pentacles, this is an, another very low number. This is just one step away from an ace. Um, twos in the tarot are, um, they're like the first step. They're, it's, they're like you've, you've taken the first step down a new path. And... You're deciding, are you going to continue down this path, or are you going to change direction? So I feel like for most of you, this is a relatively new thing. Um, and I get a lot of excitement from this person. I get a lot of excitement and enthusiasm and passionate kind of energy. Um, the Ace of Wands, this is excitement, this is, this is like a very, uh, optimistic kind of feeling. And it tells me that this person is extremely attracted to you, they're extremely interested in you, um, they want to move towards you, Wands are definitely like action cards for me. Um, they want to move towards you. They want to have some kind of relationship with you. Uh, this person wants you to know that they feel... They feel kind of completed by you. They feel like they have found the person that... I mean, they've, they've found their person, if that makes sense. Um... The Two of Pentacles in this particular deck, it always talks to me about, like, unity and wholeness. It shows me, like, two people who are seeing eye to eye, and that's because, you know, we have these mirrored images painted on these skeletons, and they come together and they create a complete picture of a butterfly. So it's, it's unity and wholeness for me, and, yeah, this person... This person wants you to know that you make them feel com kind of complete, uh, which is a bit of a new sensation for them. I feel like they, they're they saying, I didn't know that I wasn't complete. Well, I guess, I guess I shouldn't say that because everyone is complete on their own. But I didn't know I had space. I didn't know I had the space for you. I didn't know that there was space in my life within me that you could fit so perfectly into. Page of Cups, this is a, to me this card a lot of times represents a crush. Um, because pages being the first of the court cards again, uh, they they tend to represent kind of underdeveloped new energy, uh, something that hasn't really had the opportunity to grow too much. Um, so you know, to me, this is kind of like puppy love. This is like a crush, 
and <laughs> I feel like a lot of you are not in a relationship with this person at this point in time. Um, if you are, then that's pr this probably isn't your reading, to be honest, uh, because this, like I said already, feels like a very new thing to me, and what I'm hearing it kind of matches up with that. This person wants you to know that they... <laughs> This is a much more lighthearted kind of energy than the last reading, uh, which is kind of nice. Um, this person just feels like you're the bee's knees, basically, and um, they want you to know that even though they haven't been the most expressive, the most communicative towards you, they want you to know that they're trying. They're trying, but they're experiencing a lot of uncertainty okay um i mean we've got these three reversals here the ace of swords reversed any ace when it's reversed to me indicates a new beginning something new that's being blocked somehow um the swords also being so strongly related to our thoughts mental activity clarity insight uh this being reversed also makes me think that the, the person we're talking about is a little bit, um, how do I want to say this, a little bit confused about what they want to do here. Hmm. They're not confused about how they feel about you. Not at all. I feel like they're confused about... What are they confused about? Tell me. Tell me. Tell me. The Fool card also being reversed. Again, this is like a new beginning that's being blocked off somehow. This card in particular, in the reverse position, tells me that this person is fearful of taking a risk, taking a leap of faith. I think this person is kind of afraid of rejection. Um, hmm. I'm hearing that for some of you this is somebody that you have history with, but I feel like it's been a while since you've really been in touch with this person, and so it's kind of like things are starting over again. This person is saying, it's not that I'm unsure about you, it's I'm, I'm unsure about, I'm unsure about myself. I don't know if I'm going to be able to give you what you need, what you want. Um, and I, I just feel like I need some time to think things through and figure this out. Four of Swords reversed. This is reflection this is contemplation with it being reversed it's kind of like it's it's suggesting to me that this person is trying to evaluate analyze sort out this situation in their head but they're struggling to do that um, I'm not sure why they are so hesitant though to do anything. I mean, I, I do... Okay, okay, okay. I do hear that they're afraid of rejection to some extent. They're afraid... Okay. They're saying that they are afraid that they will do something to mess this up. and They don't want that to happen. They don't want to risk that. Interesting. I'm going to pull a couple of oracle cards and see if there's anything that uh, they want to add. Separation. Hmm. And Honeymoon. So group one also got the separation card. This is kind of interesting because separation obviously is indicative of 
some kind of ending, maybe a temporary ending, um, people moving away from each other, and then honeymoon is like the opposite. It's people coming together. Um, <clears throat> so I, I, I take back what I said about this being like a brand, brand new thing. For, I mean, for some of you, it it is. But for others of you, this does seem like a connection that you have stepped away from or that you did step away from in the past. And there's been a pretty significant period of time where you haven't been part of each other's lives. And that could also be contributing to why they are afraid of letting you know how they feel. Um, for some of you guys, it's been so, they're saying it's been so long, I, I just, I don't, I don't know. I don't know if, if uh, you even want to hear from me at this point. I don't know what I'm, what, what I would even say. I don't know what I can say to try to make things right. They're saying, I want to try to make things right. I want to have some kind of relationship with you again. I miss you. I... There's like a hole in my life where you used to be. And it feels so empty. And I hate it. And I just... I just want to I just want to have you back and I want to try I want to try to make things right but I don't know if you I don't know if you even want to hear from me ever again you probably don't so I don't know what I'm going to I, I don't know what I'm going to do you're okay this is me again. Your person is, um... Your person is strangely... optimistic, but at the same time, very pessimistic about this connection. Part of them really wants to take action towards you. Part of them is like, but what if, you know, things might work out, but then there's this other part of them that is like, don't bother. It's not worth it. It's not going to work out. They don't want to talk to you again. Um, so, you know, move on. A person would like for you to know that they have not moved on. They've never moved on. They kind of feel like they will never move on completely and um, there's a lot of regret here they are this person is regretting Feel like they're regretting a lot of the things that they did in the past or you know, just just regretting the way that they went about your relationship your connection whatever whatever kind of relationship you had to this person they're regretting how they went about it they wish they had done things differently and if they had a chance to do it all over again they would do things differently but um, they are not confident that they're ever going to get that opportunity, you know? So I would say if you want this person to come back into your life, you may want to uh, reach out to them. 
not sure if they'll be super receptive because they, like I said, there is this big part of them that is very pessimistic and, and really like, what's the point? They don't want to talk to me. Um, and they might kind of question your motives if you were to reach out to them, but uh, I mean, it wouldn't hurt anything. <laughs> Because this person is saying to me, like, this message I'm getting is, like, they want to communicate with you, but they are really holding back from it. And they're not sure if they're ever going to work up the courage to actually do it. They're not sure about that. So, group two, this was kind of an interesting message from your person. Um, I hope this resonated with you. Uh take what applies to you in your situation, leave the rest behind. If something doesn't quite fit, don't try to make it fit. This is just a general reading, so it's just based on the strongest collective energy of those of you who chose this pile. Um, thank you for joining me today, though. I really appreciate it. I hope I see you next time, guys. Bye! And lastly, we have group three with the Clear Quartz and the Light Seer's Tarot. So, group three, what does your person want you to know? We've had some interesting messages come through today. Um, so I'm wondering what group three has in store. Okay, right away we have the star reversed. We have the Four of Pentacles reversed. Whoa. King of Wands. The Fool, Ten of Cups reversed. Let me get one more. And the Knight of Swords reversed. This is a lot of reversals here. And on the bottom of the deck we have Strength also in the reverse position. So this is interesting. Give me a minute here. Um, I want to take these cards in and... I need to tune into your your people's um, collective energy so I can channel some messages for you guys. This seems like a connection that this seems like a connection that has ended somehow like this is either somebody that you used to be with that you broke up with things ended and and you're no longer you know part of one another's lives or honestly for some of you this feels like someone who maybe who, who may, might have passed um which is interesting because i get this feeling of loss like and not just loss but like <sighs> there were things that were supposed to happen between the two of you that never had a chance to happen I get that primarily from the Ten of Cups reversed. This card is about wish fulfillment, it's about contentment, satisfaction, uh, happy relationships, family, getting everything that you want, having all of your wants and needs being met, emotional fulfillment. I feel for many of you, you and this person had plans. Or maybe you had this Ten of Cups kind of 
thing going on and then something happened that turned it all upside down. And I get the sense that this person that I'm connecting to here feels responsible for turning that upside down. I'm hearing, I did something stupid. I did something that I should not have done. And I ruined a perfectly good thing. Strength in the reverse. Um, an obvious interpretation for this card can be weakness, it can be fear, uh, it can also be a lack of discipline, a lack of self-discipline. I feel as though at some point in the past you and this person had a pretty good thing going on. But then they're saying to me that they made a mistake. They made a mistake that they deeply regret and they wish they could take it back but they can't because it's already out there in the world you know what's done is done the four of pentacles reverse this is letting go of something this is release in this case this is like literally talking to me about this action whatever this action might have been for you in your specific case this action you know being put out there action being taken and unable to be taken back with the king of wands being here I do feel like for some of you there could have been some infidelity or some kind of um, I don't want to say sneaky behavior but some kind of just not um, non non-committal behavior <laughs> let me put it that way because the King of Wands can be a little bit of a player kind of person. Um, you know, the Wands have a very sexual kind of energy to them. It's fire energy. It's intense. It's passionate. It's It burns really hot. Um, and it's also kind of unpredictable. The Knight of Swords reversed. This card a lot of times represents a hasty decision being made or poor decision making. Um, yeah, this person, I mean, going back to what they, what they were saying a few minutes ago, this person made a mistake. They want to acknowledge that they made some kind of mistake and they regret it and they wish that they could take it back, but they can't. And they, there's, there's a lot of guilt here that, that they're conveying to me. Um, the fool, they're saying, I was foolish. I was stupid. I took this jump. And, you know, once you jump off the cliff, there's no going back up there. <clears throat> I wasn't paying attention to where I was going and I completely fell off the path that we were on and I messed it up. I ruined it. I feel like I want to get a clarifier for the star here. Um, I think I have an idea of what it's saying to me, but I want to make sure. I want to make sure. I feel like there's something more to it that I'm not quite getting. Okay, we have the Ten of Wands and the star reversed. So the star reversed, um, this talks to me about pessimism, a situation that looks very bleak, the Ten of Wands, this is carrying around some kind of burden, holding on to something that is weighing you down. Okay, this person is saying, look, I have not forgotten, 
about what we had. I have not forgotten about what I did, the role that I played in this thing falling apart. I'm still holding on to that, so don't think for a second that I've moved on, that I don't care. Because I do care. I still care a lot. You were really important to me. I know I, pr I, I didn't always treat you that way. I know I didn't always tell you that, and I should have. But you were really important to me. You deserve love. There's so much traffic going by. Okay. Whoa. Okay, you deserve love. Express your love. And the children card. Interesting. The children card is really going along with this Ten of Cups for me. This card doesn't have to literally be about children. This card can just represent potential. It can represent a new something new, a new beginning. Um, for some of you, this connection had a lot of potential. Had a lot of potential for this Ten of Cups outcome. Or you even had that Ten of Cups thing going on, like I said. But the potential was lost. The potential was lost. And now what could have been will, ne will never be. That's what they're saying. What could have been will never be because of what I did. You deserved a lot better than that. You deserved a lot better than that. And I really, I really regret not, not being what you deserved. They're saying, you deserved so much more than what I was giving you. And I... I should have done so much more. I should have been better, but I wasn't because I couldn't, I didn't see, I didn't, I didn't see what I had until it was gone. They want you to know that they want you to know that they are okay. They're specifically saying that I am okay. Don't worry about me. They want you to be okay. They really want for you to be okay. And it they're saying that they want for you to move forward with your life. So regardless of whether this was some sort of relationship that came to an end or if it was an actual, you know, if this person actually If this person actually passed on, regardless of, of what actually happened, how things ended, they want you to move forward because you are strong and you deserve to be happy. You deserve to be loved. You deserve to go out there and find the love that they weren't able to give you. 
fully. They're saying that they did not invest themselves fully in your connection, and they should have. They didn't realize that it's like they didn't they didn't realize the importance of what they had. They didn't realize the importance of giving it their all until it was too late. But they're saying again, I'm okay. I'm doing fine. I'm trying to move forward myself and I want you to do that too. And maybe we'll meet again someday. Hmm. And group three, that's really all that I'm getting for you guys at the moment. Um, this was a little bit heavy. So I hope this I hope this resonated with you. And if it didn't, um, you know, if something doesn't fit, don't try to make it fit. Um, this is just general. So take what applies to you in your situation and leave the rest behind. Um, I want to thank you, though, for joining me today. I really appreciate it. And I hope I see you next time. Bye.